I want this to be fun for everybody. So like I'm I'm here to make make your dreams come true. So whatever whatever visions you have or if there's a particular image you want me to create today, like just drop it in the chat and we'll see what we can come up with um, collaboratively together. So this is our new um, our new image uh, interface. For anybody who is previous uh, has used Leo previously, if you go up to the, the very, very top here, you'll see something that says legacy mode. Now, if you press on that, that is going to take you to our old interface. So if you have used Leonardo prior to about this week, um, this is what you will be used to seeing. The options are sit down there. We have our image guidance tabs based through here. In our new model, we wanted to make it as easy and as clean as possible. Um, and so let's, yeah, so let's go in and have a look at what we're here. I'm trying to read the chat at the same time. Now, this is up here is the prompt bar. So this is what if you're probably used to the concept of writing prompts and creating images. So if we're going to say, for example, um, a chameleon, um, a, a, bright, a bright chameleon. Here we go. Um, with Leonardo, what's really, really beautiful is this ability to improve prompts. Now, I'm feeling a bit <laughs> lazy this morning. Uh, that's about as good as I've got with my prompt. I'm going to say, hey, Leo, I'm tired. <laughs> Can you improve this prompt for me? I press improve prompt, and all of a sudden, the system's going to take what I've kind of pitched of being a, a, like a, a bright chameleon, and it's changed it to a uh, brilliantly shifting chameleon, scale shimmering with its rainbows. This is a stunning photograph. It captures the natural beauty, blah, 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 blah. Um, and so it's really gone into depth and got some really nice information behind it. Um, it's clarified that this is going to be wildlife photography and really gone into detail. Now, that's because I let it kind of have creative control um, there. If I wanted to take the reins and like, actually, I don't want to photograph. I want like an illustration or I want a 3D render or I want whatever. You can kind of like type back and forth. So that's the basis of prompting. But with Leo, most of the magic happens here in the left column. Um, and so this is where we talk about our presets. Now, presets are uh, fine-tuned models that respond to like a, the specific niche that you're trying to achieve. So if I was wanting stock photography, for example, these models are trained on stock, like they, they know that they're trying to create stock photography. So that's what they're going to create the output to look like versus if I want lifelike vision, um, you know, this could be, um, this kind of has like cinematic outputs. I can have HDR like camera style. Um, and I also have this setting for photo reel. Um, so we'll get into that in a second. But this is just to give you an idea of where the presets set, sit. So I think when you're going into what you're trying to make, kind of think, like, what, what is it that I want? What do I want it to, um, to, to have as the output? Um, if it's a portrait, like if you're trying to do people, people photography, these are some really, really nice presets that you're going to get some uh, different responses to. So if you want um, fashion, for example, if you're trying to create a, phot a photography that is fashion focused or fashion forward, you could use this one versus if you wanted something that was quite cinematic, like if you're doing... Um, uh, pitch decks for a film or something like that you'll be able to go in and use these cinematic features um and so g getting familiar with all of these different options is a really really good place to start this is where i would encourage you to go and spend your day the difference is going to be quite significant depending on what um depending on which preset you choose uh now under here we've then got fast or quality now Fast is going to try and render it. It's a bit small. You can see it's a 888 by 888. Qu quality, the base is uh, 1,110 uh, as a starting. So depending, you're, you're going to be getting um, just like a different quality. It's also using a different system. So I think if you're if you're just like iterating, like you can have fast if you just want like lots of quick responses. If you want a, like a nice good outcome, I'll put it on quality. Then you get into image dimensions. Um, quite self-explanatory. If you press this more button that folds out, you're able to see um, different dimensions for like socials. So if you're looking for, to create social assets or if you're looking to make stuff for a TV or device or cinema or wide or whatever like that, um, these are already pre-saved as dimensions. So it's really, really helpful. Um, okay, brilliant. And then if we jump into advanced settings, this is kind of uh, the, the model that these things are running on. Um, these have been set up to best suit the the preset that you've clicked that you've, you're going for. So a lot of them will have already what they what they're running on. Um, however, if you're feeling incredibly uh, exploratory, like definitely go and have a play and have a look at what these different models are going to do with their output because they will be different each time. Um, 
photo reel is brilliant. This is for photo realism. Um, and it just means able to have that like high quality photo realistic outputs. So definitely um, have a play with all of these different um, areas of what you can do here. So for the sake of this experiment, I'm going to put that one on. Great. Okay, so we've got our prompt that we've been helped with. We've set these up and I'm just going to press generate and we're going to see quickly what we get out. Now, if you have a look at the different um, the different versions that I quickly was playing with earlier, um, this one you can see it's really going to try to got that details in the in the scales or um, its skin there. Um, some nice layers. Here we go. Whereas this one I put on as like a, it's more of a, I um, can't remember which setting I put on for this one, but it was just more of a playful, colorful one. So it, it isn't the, I'm hoping you can see the difference between the two. Um, and this is just letting the machine run for itself. Now, if we go into these, because these were photorealistic, um, we've gone and got this nice blur effect happening, which happens quite often with photography, where you'd have like your center asset. Um, Oh, he's cute. Yay. Um, cool. Okay, so that's that. This is the general general area of where you're going to be spending a lot of your time.